Nigerians' democracy in shambles, Peter Obi laments leadership failure. Former Labour Party 2023 presidential candidate Peter Obi has expressed his concerns about the state of Nigeria's democracy, citing leadership failure as a major contributor to the country's economy. You are welcome to Nigeria Anchor News. Today, we are discussing Peter Obi's thoughts on Nigeria's democracy and the challenges it faces. So, let's dive in. In a post via his official X handle, Obi wrote, As we join the global community to commemorate International Democracy Day today, we remind ourselves as a nation of the need to uphold tenets of democracy. This includes free speech, observance of civil liberties, and the rule of law. It also includes the upholding of the ideas of democracy that are embodied in ensuring accountable institutions and the protection and promotion of human rights. Democracy in Nigeria has continued to suffer untold setbacks, heavily burdened by leadership failure, which has brought about uncontrolled systematic corruption, high levels of insecurity, lack of freedom of speech, increasing poverty, an unprecedented level of hunger and hardship. These problems have not only remained unsolved, but also growing geometrically. The democratic ideas of the nations have, sadly, continued to erode with time. And today, we can be classified as a captured state where the citizens have continued to suffer untold hardship deprivation and insecurity while the political leadership faced on the state resources. In every measurement of true democracy, we have continued to rank low and perform badly, signaling a critical deficiency in our democratic system. With a democracy index goals of 4.23, Nigeria ranks low on the Global Democracy Index and in other indices of democracy. In the corruption in the Corruption Perception Index, we ranked 145th among the 180 countries measured, showing a high level of corruption in Nigeria. In rule of law measurement, we are ranked 120 out of 142 countries measured in World Justice Project WJP Rule of Law Index, showing that Nigeria suffers from gross disobedience to the rule of law. The 2024 World Press Freedom Index by Reporters Without Borders RSF, described Nigeria as one of Africa's most dangerous and difficult countries for journalists. Freedom of speech is grossly suppressed and citizens are gauged from expressing their civic rights. On a day like this, we may pause to examine our democratic journey as a nation and strive to build our nation on the solid rock of true democracy where every Nigerian is given a voice and fair hearing, irrespective of tribe, religion, or political affiliation. This remains our commitment to the new Nigeria, and it is possible, Obi said. Peter Obi's words are a stark reminder of the challenges facing Nigeria's democracy. It's clear that leadership failure has had a devastating impact on the country. We need to take a hard look at ourselves and work towards building a more inclusive and accountable democratic system. So, do you agree with Peter Obi's assessment of Nigeria's democracy? And what do you think is the pressing issue facing Nigeria's democratic system and how can it be addressed? Let's take reactions from people on social media. Johnson Aguirre Nigerians but take their destiny in their hands by protecting their thoughts and going after election riggers. Never expect anything good from those that reach elections. P.O. Disciple The People's Choice 2027 Dr. Keno We need free speech globally for true democracy. We need the People's President, Peter Obi. If Tinubu continues to remain in power, there will be nothing like free speech. On the global setting, free speech starts with Trump winning 2024 elections. Your Jumani, what are you doing to alleviate the suffering of the masses? Ola Shunkami, the right man for the job. I pray Nigeria don't miss the opportunity to elect you as the president 
in 2027. So as for you to take Nigeria to the promised land as they believe in a new Nigeria is possible. That is all for now. Share your thoughts with us in the comment section and stay tuned for more news updates on Niger Anchor News.